How's it going everybody? My name's Steve and I've got a Photoshop tutorial for you guys and it is really easy, really simple to do, but it is making your own thumbnail. Honestly, it took me a little bit to figure it out myself, but once you actually like watch a tutorial video on it, it's really easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. And you're going to want to open up a new file, you're going to want 1280 by 720 and you're going to want that to be pixels so you actually might want to switch it first but I'm going to highlight that 1280 by 720 I'm going to click OK so there you go now you're going to want to double click on this and click OK it's also right click and then layer background but once you got this you're going to want to open up a folder with an image that you want for a background so after your base layer is unlocked, you're going to open your folder with whatever pictures you have in it, and we'll just say this one. This is what I use for my thumbnails right now. You're just gonna want to stretch this out to each corner of the screen. Sorry, each corner of the screen. Screen. And then you're going to want to right click, click place. There you go. There's your background. Now from here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your text whatever you want to be, say if you're doing a zombie thing you got origins there you go and now you can change it to whatever font you want so I'm going to go ahead and do it you can say black ops 2 and do origins I honestly would not personally would not have it this big I would drop down to like 125 maybe. Yeah, 125 works. And first things first, you're gonna want to choose a color that stands out from your background. And so if you have a brown background, I generally do yellow. It's just a really good offset from everything. And after you do that, I normally click up here to get off this. Click back and just say I rounds then down here black ops two. So what you do here is you're gonna have to highlight everything in here. Make this down to say one hundred. Or maybe not 100, maybe even less. We'll make that 90. There we go, that'll work. Alright, so we have that. And you can change this to actual text that Black Ops is. So you can change this to white. And then have this right here be the orange. So you just change the color to what you think is close to it. There you go. And then the top, you can have honestly whatever, sorry, not whether, but whatever color you want. I generally have that as the yellow or red or whatever color you choose it to be. And then these are the ones that have yellow. Just because it's sort of yellow as, sorry, these are white. I think I said yellow. But the yellow up on top I have for like the map or type or base where the video is when I'm doing Call of Duty. The middle is the sub subject I guess second subject and the bottom is the game or whatever I'm doing and this is just for Black Ops this isn't for every single game so just throwing it out there but what you're gonna want to do is if you want the cool looking sort of gradient looking like that where it stands out more and everything. What you're going to want to do is you're going to highlight to make sure you have it selected over here. And you're going to raster, rasterize type. Then you're going to blending options just so you can actually do everything. Then you're going to do gradient overlay. And as you see, it changes to that but, uh, gradient sort of thing, but it's gray. So don't worry about that. All you have to do is simply click darken. And then if you want, 
just sort of really basic and slight gradient look to it, but where it's still really visible, you just change it to about 40%. I'll go back to that and show you. Gradient overlay, 40%. That's generally what I have it as to give it that slight gradient look to it. And if you want, say, an image or something in here, we'll just go throw this tank in, for example. Go ahead and expand that out. And then right click place. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to find the magic wand. If I can find it. Come here. There we are. Alright, so you right click over here on the left. It's the fourth one down, right below the pointer, the box creator, and the lasso. You're going to right click, go to magic wand, and click the black. That will highlight the tank, and you literally just push delete. Come on. Okay. So we're going to actually cancel that. Come on. Did not mean to delete every single thing. Okay, so let's try this again. Get the picture back in. Stretch it out. Place. Okay. I'm sorry, I forgot I have to ra rasterize or whatever. There you go. So after you rasterize, you delete it, took out all the black, so it actually looks pretty bad. And if it were to stop doing this, control D is to, for done, but that's how you take out the background and everything of the picture, and I actually hate this picture, so we're going to delete this layer, and drop in this picture. The background was already taken out, it was set up for Photoshop I believe. But you can just put this picture absolutely wherever you want. It's just place. Put it, say, right here. So it looks like they're standing behind it and on it, sort of. And there you go. That's how you place the picture. You got the background like that. And if you want down here, you can make this whatever you want. Just highlight and choose it. There's plenty of options you can do. If you don't want this to be white, you can change it to whatever for the color. If click over here you've got the blending options and you have like the, uh, the level and emboss so you can make it really grainy like we'll, we'll leave this smooth and we'll do it to the background let's go to images raster raster size layer this for level I don't know if you can see it on the background I don't think you can. Right there, texture. So, as you can see, the texture is changing. Give it a rough texture, whatever sort of texture you want. And this really works for pretty much everything. And this is how you do like um, Minecraft, or whatever. But if you want it on text, it's also really, really simple to do. Just gotta get to the origins layer blending options, texture, give it a really rough texture, really smooth texture, give it sort of a rusty looking, you can change the depth of it so it's really rusty like this sort of thing, like all beat up and everything like that. Then once you did that, what you can do is you can go to here and you can actually change if it would let me change the color of it to say red. But alright. Go into change. Okay, come on. Not let me change. Origins. Select. Okay. For some reason, does not want me to select. But you guys have the general idea of what's going on. Um, give this team, say right there. But it's really simple, as you can see. There's how you change the background and everything for that. 
and see if we can select different text to do it to. Just try and do this to show you guys. All right, there we go. So we will, and once you, oh, okay, I see what I did there. Once you rasterize, or whatever, rasterize, rasterize, don't know what it's called exactly. You can't edit it anymore. Just remember that. So you really got to be careful with that. So what you're going to do is with rounds, you're going to blending options, texture, and we'll do the whole really rough look with that. And you change the color from there to say, not purple, but red. There you go. You got sort of a bloody, rusty look. You can change it to a brownish red, wherever you choose it to be. And then you save it to your desktop, wherever you want it to be. And then you can save it um, Origins Thumbnail. And change from Photoshop to JPEG. Click Save. And then I normally choose it to maximum. Click OK. You can literally just minimize this. Go into this and say we'll do what's here. We'll do this one. Custom thumbnail. Just do type O for origins. Origins thumbnail JPEG. And then it's updating, and there it is. Click Save Changes. You go back. Stay on the page, sorry. You go back once it's saved. And scroll down, and look, there it is. Origins, High Rounds, Black Ops 2. And there you go. That's all there is to making the thumbnail. It's really simple, really easy. You can do whatever background you want. I literally just went backgrounds, and then went to images, and just started scrolling. Because if you see through here, there's plenty of different backgrounds you can use. It's literally just Google image whatever you want for your Photoshop and then put it in there. So down here more, if I can find it, was my image. It's actually probably gone now. But that's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, you want the links or whatever, you want the files for the, um, the different fonts and everything that I have, feel free to ask me. I am more than happy to give them to you. I'll give you a link for them. I'll probably put it in the description even. But like I said, if you guys want the Black Ops 2 text or the American Captain or anything like that, which the majority of people use for really close text and everything, just leave a comment or something, message me. And all I'm asking of you guys to do is leave a like and comment and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe but honestly I'm open to any type of criticism I like some feedback on my videos so please give me some feedback leave a comment saying how I'm doing or whatever if you need any help feel free to comment I will help I'm pretty sure other users will help or youtubers I should say and if there's anything I can do for you guys please feel free to let me know make sure it's YouTube or some sort of video or something and I'll be glad to help you guys out so thanks again for watching and hopefully you guys found this video helpful it's really simple really easy to do like I said there's nothing really too complex about Photoshop for those of you starting out with thumbnails so thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video